your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chad Crilly. Well, we have our first named storm of the season. That is Tropical Storm Alberto, which is churning in the southwest Gulf. Already a lot of impacts here across Texas and even some rough surf up our way. Here is the latest from the National Hurricane Center on their advisory. Winds to 40 miles per hour with Alberto. Some of the gusts up to 50 miles per hour. And the pressure is at 995 millibars. You will notice that well-defined center, the rotating counterclockwise swirl, and then the heaviest thunder storms and feeder bands now starting to move on shore across Texas. So believe it or not, the weather should start to improve there by late tonight into tomorrow. At the same time, Alberto is expected to make landfall in Mexico as a tropical storm, then continue to move on shore and weaken to a tropical depression, but a lot of heavy rain and flooding across inland parts of Mexico. So once we're done with Alberto, we're not done with the tropics at all. In fact, this is new within the past hour or so. We have Invest 92L out here in the Atlantic. You can see some of the thunderstorms around it. It's just an indication to us in the Hurricane Center. We want to watch this one a little extra closely. 20% chance of development here over the next seven days. It is going to be tracking towards the west. I don't think we're going to get anything major out of this one, but it could bring us some showers and thunderstorms as we head into the weekend. Also, in the southwest Gulf, in the same place where we have Alberto right now, there's a 30% chance of more development over the next week, so we'll be watching that spot pretty closely. Closer to home, it is 87 degrees right now in Dothan, an east wind at 9 miles per hour. Humidity 50%. The dew point is in the mid-60s, so it is not super humid outside. In fact, it feels kind of nice. Lots of upper 80s here, 88 degrees in Ozark. It is 87 in Enterprise, 89 right now in Geneva, 88 in Vernon lower 90s in Mariana. We've had a lot of cloud cover out there today that has helped keep temperatures down just a couple of degrees out there overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Temperatures do fall back into the lower 70s. It'll be partly cloudy tonight. Remaining breezy east winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. A tight pressure gradient between us and Alberto. That is what is creating some of those breezy conditions. And as we head into Thursday, another breezy day is likely. Temperatures are in the mid 80s by lunchtime, 90s by around 4 o'clock, and there's going to be 10% chance or so of a passing shower or thunderstorm, which means 90% of us are dry. Just something to look out for. The rain chances increase as we get towards Friday and the weekend. So a couple of things are happening. That tropical wave that I showed you is going to track westward. So we are expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms from that Friday into Saturday. Some of those downpours, especially on Saturday, could be heavy, not expecting severe weather at this time. Then for Sunday, Monday and beyond, there's going to be a storm system to our north. We're also going to be tapping into some Gulf moisture. So scattered showers and thunderstorms become more numerous out there, especially on Monday. So rain chances will be increasing then as well. A more unsettled time period is on the way to say the least. So a mainly dry day for our Thursday temperatures in the lower 90s, mid 90s for Friday, increasing the rain chances ever so slightly for Saturday and Sunday. That tropical wave is nearby, so isolated scattered showers and thunderstorms, not a washout for us, and then a better chance at more organized rainfall as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Michael temperatures also rising a couple of degrees then as well. That is very interesting. So with the, the heat comes those higher rain chances. So if you want to get out and enjoy some, I would say moderately warm days 92 93 tomorrow and, and today it's not oppressive it's not terrible yeah, yeah no yeah compared to what we saw last week and i think all of us will take the low 90s should feel okay all yeah right. well coming up next